Good morning, everyone. It's 10 a.m. I'd like to call to order and welcome everybody to the commission meeting of Limestone County Commission for April 4th of 2022. Um, Ellen, do we have any public comment? We do. Charles McDaniel. McDonald, excuse me. McDonald. Mr. McDonald, come right here, please, sir. Well, the reason I, it's not the reason I'm here, but the issue I have is uh, Oakdale Road, okay? Since the uh, turnabouts are supposedly complete after months and months and months, all of the ref traffic has been directed to Oakdale Road. Uh, uh, the detour signs are still up. We've had enough traffic on Oakdale Road now, and it's always an issue over there because uh, you never know if you raise this issue that city if you raise that issue that's county right in front of my house actually the water line ends it says city on one side and county on the other side but what I'd like to see is uh, see them get the, the uh, detour signs down because there's a long-standing thing in Alabama it seems like uh, sometimes they stay up there for a year so if just getting the detour signs down that could very well enhance uh, stopping some of the traffic so uh, and Oakdale Road has taken quite some wear and tear over this period of time. So uh, anything that can be done to uh, improve that and uh, anything that can be done to sort of slow some of the traffic down because there is some excess speed because I live between uh, 251 and uh, Nick Davis Road, which I know is a great straight uh, of about a mile and a half. So sometimes uh, people forget. So. Uh, even a temporary, maybe some temporary uh, uh, speed breakers or something, just to get things back to normal, uh, would be a good thing. So, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. And I um, know that I know that he can answer to that with the signs still being up because I've had the same question about construction after we finish it, and we leave the signs up. And it's so many days that they leave them up after that. They, they sure leave the, they leave them up until the DOT approves the project, um, and so. There, there is a, a final inspection that's completed, and when that final inspection is completed, they can take the signs down. There may be something that the DOT can do. I can reach out to the DOT and the contractor, see if they can cover the signage or something. Um, but, I mean, like I said, they, they leave the signage up until the DOT's final inspection. I knew I had that, and I know, I think Daryl had that too. We had people that were calling wanting us to pull the signs up, and that's the only reason we didn't. Yeah. And for the, I know that they was, uh, there was some, they investigated the road before we started, and they are going to, wasn't there some, we, 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 um, uh, the we, we did, uh, we did try to take, uh, pre-detour conditions. I, that, we will, we'll have to talk with the DOT, okay. and I'll have to go to document anything that somebody might think happened, right. but I, I don't know what that would lead to. If you don't mind, reach out to the DOT about the sign, please. All right, Ellen, will have him more. Thank you, Mr. McDonald. Thank you. Sharon Sanders. Ms. Sanders. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am opposed to closing the recycling center. There has to be a better option. I recycle a lot, uh, steel, aluminum, and glass mainly, and a lot of people do use the recycling center. So I would appreciate it if you would keep it open. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Ellen, we'll have any more? Skip Van Pamel. All right, Skip, if you don't mind, step here to the microphone, please, sir. I get three minutes, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I own a property out on Jones Road in East Limestone. Danny Barksdale is my commissioner. They're building a subdivision right across the street from us, and their trash has gotten out of hand. Last Thursday, I spent with two of my employees an hour and a half picking up trash in our ditch not my whole property from our fence to the ditch 15 feet I filled four 55 gallon bags ran out of bags and then filled the garbage can and I mean there's just shit blowing all over the place over there now that afternoon they brought a herd of Mexicans out there they picked up the whole other side of the street that's great I noticed yesterday they brought in a bunch of new dumpsters okay when I rode out here 
if you go down Nick Davis, the other side, you can, you can see it today, all the crap across the street. Now, I've heard we can't do nothing about it. There's no regulation. Well, man, that needs to change. This is getting out of hand. Now, the other side of my property, there's another subdivision being built. These guys, we've never had a problem with them. You ride down through their job, every house has a dumpster. Everything is picked up. You ride through that other subdivision, it looks like a shit house. Now, I'm a contractor. I own Veep Electric. <clears throat> we, we work all over the place. Every contract I've signed has a clause in it about taking care of garbage. If not, there's a fine. Huntsville, Madison, Morgan County, Madison County, City of Decatur, they all have things in place to rectify this. In other words, gets out of hand, you got to pay a fine. And I know you guys can't just write law, just arbitrarily decide what to happen, but man, it's getting to be a real problem. And like I said, I would invite any one of you guys, I'm an easy person to find, call me, I'll take you out there. We can go today, and I'll show you what's going on. It's getting out of hand. And I would appreciate it if you all would do something about it. And I'm, I'm guessing Danny over there had probably made some phone calls, which is why they were cleaning up Thursday. And I appreciate that. I do. Thank you, sir. Good day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I actually rode out there and looked at it the other day. It's, it is bad on that north side of Nick Davis there with the old golf course all over there where that farmer got to playing there. Yeah, and, and that one gentleman, I don't know the guy's name, got the house its way off the road. I rode by there today, man. If I were him, I'd be furious. And not to mention the, the Jeep shop there on the corner. They're all the time picking stuff out of their parking lot. But anyway, I just I said my piece. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Is that something we can incorporate in our new subdivision regulations? I don't know. I hate that. There's, there's also, there's currently statutes on littering that might apply. Oh, that's the I can't just go out there and write tickets and they're probably going to be good. So. Exactly. Where, where you could make it that you know you got to keep it clean you got to clean it up if you're going probably what happens the the developer doesn't know anything the subs that go out there and doing their work just subcontractors he hires uh, I've reached out to the developer multiple times about it and then, right. of course well we'll get out there and, and take care of it and they do something and then and then it's just back to the status quo so I don't know that's something I think we'll just have to try to talk about. I, I don't know if we can put it in subdivision regulations. I don't know. That's one of those things that maybe areas that have building mm -hmm. permits, they might can handle that because you can put a stop work order on a house or something. But I don't know about, I mean, a, the like subdivision that. itself is not, it's it's the it's contractors doing the, the construction. Subcontractors the are the yeah. one doing the littering. Yeah. Would ADM we'll have, have any say in that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll look. Ellen, do we have any more? We do not. Thank you. I have a little something special here today. Um, we got a proclamation. Um, um, March the 29th was Vietnam Veterans War Day. Um, so um, I want to got a couple of veterans here today. Vietnam veterans. I want them to come right up here. Got three, three or four. Yeah, I see some more up there now. Come right up here up front. Here we're going to do a proclamation, and we I proclaimed um, March the 29th, and we're just going to do it at a meeting here. So we'd have a come on down here, Miss Sims. Oh, I want all the commissioners to come up here with us. This right here is a, <coughs> well, you know, as, a, as me and the commission body, um, we'll proclaim this day, uh, March 29th, is Vietnam Veterans Day. Welcome y'all, y'all gentlemen home. I know a lot of time over the years, the war, y'all took some burden and all, and I'll thank y'all for your service. I'm very grateful for all veterans, and I will thank y'all for your service. And, you know, I mean, this is the time frame the, of, my, of my family, you know, was in, my dad was in this age. So um, thank y'all for being here today. And I want to present y'all with this proclamation. I want y'all to come over here and get our picture made. Where y'all want to get your picture made at? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right yeah. We're going to get right up here, brothers, right here. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on up here and take your help. Reach up out of the college. That's right there. Can I put that down? Take your mail. Take your mail. Take your mail. Thank you. Come on in here, man. Come on in. Come right here in the middle. You come right here. I'd like, like to say I appreciate uh, Mr. Daly doing this for us. Uh, we're all vets from that era. Pink was wounded over there. He was in the Air Force. I was in heavy artillery. Saw a lot of action. He did as well. So I appreciate
appreciate it very much. Mr. Thomas, are you a Vietnam veteran? I am. Well, come on come down on here with there. Come on down here, Mr. Nichols. Get a picture with us. Have you, you got any more veterans in the room? Can I make some veterans? Come on, get a picture. It wasn't that bad. Early. It wasn't okay. You look like a thirty. Combat engineer. Right. Right. You a combat engineer? Yes, sir. So we got a combat engineer. So um. Okay, we ready? Thank y'all for your service, and I know we do the Pledge of Allegiance this time, so we have veterans in the room. I'm going to let y'all hash it out amongst y'all self. I'm going to let one of y'all gentlemen lead us to pledge. Which one of y'all will lead us to pledge? Mr. Pick. Mr. Flag, right behind you. Mr. Chan Salute. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank y'all, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank y'all for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. 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 You know, that's some of the good things. That's what it's. I'll say one more time. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I'd like to make, make this a yearly event. Maybe we'll get more Vietnam veterans in, involved in it. Maybe have a little gathering on the 29th. Yes, that'd be we'll great. Nobody home for what they did. Before. Okay, um, that'd be fine. We'll get with Michelle on that. Um, actually, I mean, on that night we also we turned the courthouse red, white, and blue that night. Yeah, you me lit the color up and. Um, so we uh, we do we could we could actually do the proclamation that day at the courthouse that night. Um, I know this year we was kind of rushed around to get it done, and I wanted to, you know make sure we got it done that day. But you know I just want to do it at a meeting to where y'all get some recognition, and we can build a uh, we can build an event for this next year if y'all want to. That'd be great. Be honored to do it. Uh, we'd be honored to do it. Be glad to do it. For help uh, do it at the courthouse. That'd be the best place to do it at the flagpole there and have a little ceremony. So thank y'all. Thank y'all for your service. All right. All right, moving on. I guess we need, I got a lot of order there because I got the pledge. We'll do the roll call. Mr. Samet? Here. Mr. Barksdale? Here. Mr. Black? Here. Mr. Townsend? Here. I don't think the good Lord's going to get us for, for saying a pledge ahead of the roll call there. Because, all right, so um, first thing on the agenda, I'll ask for a motion to approve minutes from March the 21st, 2022. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have any? Second. Second by... Commissioner Barksdale, any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Salmon? Aye. Mr. Barksdale? Aye. Mr. Black? Aye. Mr. Townsend? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, next on here, I'll ask for a motion to approve claims in the amount of $955,851.62. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Commissioner Townsend. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Black? Aye. Mr. Townsend? Aye. Mr. Salmon? Aye. Mr. Barksdale? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Do we have any conflicts of interest or anything coming from the commission today? <coughs> All right, no conflicts. We'll be moving on. Um, resolutions and orders. I'll ask for a motion to approve a resolution to approve um, financing through Truist Financing Group to purchase lease of 10 new 22 model Mack dump trucks and one 22 model Mack pull tractor. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. Mr. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Black. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Samet? Aye. Mr. Black? Aye. Mr. Barksdale? Aye. Mr. Townsend? Aye. Your motion carries unanimously. Um, next, under contracts, agreements, and grants, I'll ask for a motion to approve a, uh, a, a grant audit between for a federal approve a contract to audit federal awards with the Department of Examiners and Public Accounts for the beginning period of October the first of twenty twenty to the ending date of September the thirtieth of twenty twenty one. Do I have such a motion? I make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Barksdale. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Commissioner Townsend. <coughs> Any discussion with it? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Barksdale? Aye. Mr. Townsend? Aye. Mr. Salmon? Aye. Mr. Black? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, we have one budget revision, so I'll ask for a motion to approve a budget revision for $47,500 for the Sheriff's Office. Do I have such a motion? Good motion. Huh? Make a motion by Commissioner um, Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Barksdale. Any discussion with it? 
No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Commissioner Blatt? Aye. Commissioner Townsend? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, next on here, we have no merchant purchases, board appointments. I have a motion to, I need a motion to approve, to reappoint Mr. Claire Middleton to the top of Alabama Regional Housing Authority until um, April the 13th of 2027. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Barksdale. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Commissioner Salmon? Aye. Commissioner Townsend? Aye. All right, I'll ask from under award of bids. I've got two bids here. I'll ask for a motion to approve the two bids referring to printing. One is for the probate and one is for the revenue commission office. Do I have such a motion to approve the two bids? I'll make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Black. Any discussion? <clears throat> no discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Commissioner Townsend? Aye. All righty, um, so under personnel action, I'll ask for a motion to approve to transfer Michael Bloodworth from a deputy sheriff to a patrol sergeant, effective April the 4th of 2022. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black, second by Commissioner Townsend. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Townsend? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Second on here, I'll ask for a motion to approve to promote um, Dalen Legg and Richard Clanton to patrol sergeants um, effective April the 4th of 2022. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Townsend. Do I have a second? Second. Second, second by Commissioner Black. Any discussion with either one of them? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Townsend? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, third on here, I'll ask for a motion to approve to amend the equipment oper three, operator three's job description to have such a motion. I'll make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? I'll, I'll second. Go ahead. I'll second. Second by Commissioner Townsend. Any discussion with it? On discussions, go who's going to second it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. No more discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Black. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Fourth on here, I'll ask for a motion to approve to hire Jonas Waltrip as equipment operator two in District One pending a drug screening. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Commissioner Black. <coughs> Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Commissioner Townsend? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Fifth on here, I'll ask for a motion to approve to hire. Um, Tanya Hensley as a corrections officer pending a drug screening. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. Make a motion by Commissioner Townsend. Second. Second. Second by Commissioner Black. Any discussion with it? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Townsend? Aye. Commissioner Black? Aye. Mr. Samet? Aye. Mr. Barksdale? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Your time, Mark. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we have a few subdivisions for your consideration today. Kennesaw Creek Subdivision Phase 2. This is a major for final approval, 32 lots in District 2. This is the south side of Nick Davis Road, 1,900 feet west of Jones Road. Uh, Beulah Road Subdivision, this is a minor for a preliminary and final, 15 lots in District 1, north side of Fane Road and west side of Beulah Road. Uh, Chapman Subdivision, uh, this is a minor for preliminary and final, uh, two lots in District 3, approximately three-quarters of a mile west of Little Elk Road, north side of Snake Road. Uh, Limestone Ranches Subdivision. This is a replat of um, lots 126A, 127A, 139, and 140. Uh, this is uh, for minor, preliminary, and final, affecting those four lots named in District 1. This is approximately one-quarter mile east of East Limestone Road on the south side of Batramville Road. Nick Davis Road subdivision, minor for preliminary and final, uh, creating two lots in District 2, approximately 300 feet west of Mooresville Road on the north side of Nick Davis Road. Uh, Woolsey subdivision, minor for preliminary and final, uh, creating four lots in District 3 at 29348 Hardeman Road. And Torrey Senior subdivision, this is a replat of track 1B and 2B. This is a minor for preliminary and final, affecting the two lots named in District 4 at 17575 Tucker Lane. That's all I have for your consideration. All right. 
I'll ask for a motion to approve the seven subdivisions as suspended by the engineer, Mr. Massey. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion with any one of them on there? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Black? Aye. Mr. Samet? Aye. Mr. Barksdale? Aye. Mr. Townsend? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Anything else, Mark? That's all that I have. Thank you, sir. Um, under other business, I'll ask for a motion to approve the Limestone County Cyber Security Policy and um, the Adequate Use of Information Technical Resources Policy. Do I have such a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Black. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Commissioner Townsend. Any discussion with it? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Black? Aye. Mr. Townsend? Aye. Mr. Salmon? Aye. Mr. Barksdale? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. We have no scheduled public hearing. This time, report of officers, Commissioner Salmon. <coughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I want to thank the gentleman for, for coming out today with the, uh, as a Vietnam vet, and thank you for your service to our country. You're the reason that we get to do what we do now, and uh, for that, I, I, I respect y'all and I appreciate you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd kind of like to go over my, my projects, if you don't mind. Go ahead, sir. Sandlin Road project's complete. It was it didn't take over five days on it. I couldn't believe it. They milled it, it was three and a half miles, got milled in, in two days, and put back in, in two and a half. And the only reason it took that other half, because they had to wait a half a day, one day, because it was so foggy, it, the fog just wouldn't lift. But uh, it was as a project, I'd never seen it turn over that quick. I guarantee you, it was neat, clean, good project. On State Line Road, uh, they're putting the steel in today for the bottom on it. Uh, Thatch Road, we're backfilling the north side of it where they can get in and set their top on the prefab bridge. Uh, hopefully, a couple of probably a couple of weeks, we'll see that opened up. I hope. But um, McKee Road, we've got the leveling done. We're waiting on 1st of May for the chip seal uh, on it. Got, <coughs> already got our rock, got our materials already set and waiting. And on our, we started last week on our paving projects that we've got lined up for this year that uh, getting those prepped will be ready for when it gets 1st of May. But that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, um, Commissioner Samet. Commissioner Barksdale? I'd just like to thank our vets for coming, uh, and that's all I have. Thank you, sir. Commissioner Black? Uh, I have a couple of things here. First, Miss Sanders, we, uh, just, just so you'll know, we're, we don't own the building, and we, we're not the ones that are closing it. We're, uh, you weren't here for the work session, but I want to make sure you understood before you left that uh, we're also uh, trying to do all we can do about the recycling center. So just to let you know, we didn't close it. It's a, it was a lease, and uh, the group that has the lease, was, we're just not able to continue it. So we're working hard to try to do something about that. The work session, there was a lot of people in here, so I just wanted you to know that. Uh, second thing, uh, Vietnam veterans. Uh, this is, uh, I, I did a research project in, at Auburn on the Vietnam War, and, uh, and uh, I had to go to 12 Vietnam, uh, Vietnam uh, veterans' homes, and I get a little choked up because uh, they were in Columbus, Georgia, and they were in Newnan, Georgia. Uh, one of them was in Mobile, and the majority of them were out of Montgomery that I went to. They were part of this thing called the Combined Action Platoons, and they would actually live with the people inside Vietnam and uh, go through a daily life with them. And uh, the, the, the things that they told me about, the things that I've read about, can't touch the surface of what uh, I know that y'all went through, not only over there or if it, just preparing for it because you, you weren't prepared for what you had when you came home. And that was, uh, that was physical, that was mental, and then that was uh, society in, it, in itself. And uh, I'm sorry for uh, people acting the way they acted towards you. Um, uh, my age group uh, doesn't understand uh, what you went through. Uh, younger than me really don't understand what you went through, but thank goodness I uh, I had a I had enough uh, uh, raising by my dad and my mom to understand, and uh, 
I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Black. Do you have anything else? That's it. Commissioner Townsend? I'd also like to thank our vets. I mean, we couldn't sit here and do what we do today. I mean, we couldn't live the life we live in right now if it wasn't for our veterans and for what y'all done for us. And uh, I mean, it's a, uh, it, it, my granddad was a veteran, uh, World War II, but you know, hey, I think about it every day. I mean, these guys, they, they risked their life. And the ones that came back, I mean, we, we, the ones we lost and the ones that are still here with us, we appreciate them every day. And uh, just thank y'all for what you're doing. And uh, real quick, I uh, wanna give a little update. We're working on Seven Mile Post Road, trying to prep it for our Rebuild Alabama project. Uh, we're having trouble getting pipe, I think. We got some of them, but we're gonna try to install what we've got. And uh, hopefully we'll get what we need by the time y'all roll around to get that paved. Uh, the guys are out doing a lot of ditching right now. We're trying to catch up on our ditching work while we're waiting on some pipe. So if um, you know, if everybody just watch out for them, they're on the side of the roads trying to get some of these ditches opened up with this water or run because, I mean, we've, we've kind of been tied up with Chapman Hollow. We've kind of got caught up on that, and I think the plan is still to maybe pave that once the temperature gets above 75 and rising. So, But uh, anyway, uh, that's all I got. Commissioner. Thank you, Commissioner Townsend. Um, I have several things today. First of all, I want to thank our veterans. I mean, um, they mean the world to me, and I think they mean the world to all of us commissioners up here. Um, you know, veterans, if it wasn't for veterans, we wouldn't be able to do what we do in life. Um, like I said, I mean, I think that's something that the world needs to keep in front of them, education, you know, to show what really happens and tell the story, you know. You know, that's one thing I love about this job. I learn a lot about stories, just like he's talking about writing research paper and all. You learn history, learn life. Um, you know, this, we've always been really supportive of the veterans, and um, I want to thank um, Mr. Larry Stovall reached out to me about a month ago about doing this proclamation for this day, and I know he's part of the honor burial group and things like that, and just want to thank them for that. They continue to serve today. I mean, and you know, and it's, uh, if it's not through just educating us on the way things were, you know, giving us, you know, I mean, telling us the story. So um, thank you, and we welcome you home, and we welcome all veterans home, and we, like I said, we're not only Vietnam veterans, but we're supportive of all veterans, but we really have a special place in our heart for all y'all, so. Thank y'all for all veterans. All right. Thank you, sir. And thank you, like I said, thank y'all for the service that y'all still provide today, you know, do the burial service. And I know, I know both, all three of these gentlemen up here are members of the Limestone County Burial thing, and, I, and, and they, like I said, they still serving us today. So thank them for what they're still serving today. Um, all right, um, Autism Month, I had on my autism tie first time. I changed during the meeting, between the meeting. Um, we're supportive of autism and all that, you know, all the research it has. And our courthouse will be blue for autism. And um, not only for blue for the month, also April is also the month of um, childhood abuse prevention. So I have <laughs> changed ties and I put on my tie, my blue tie, because our color is blue too. And um, so we have pink for the boys, I mean for the girls, and blue for the boys, so we are supporting both sexes there, and we're really supportive of that. And uh, so um, we have 100. We're going to have 168 pinwheels up here on the courthouse. And when I leave here at 11 o'clock, we'll do a proclamation up here for them, just like we did for the veterans today. And that's that's one of the rewarding things about this job is to go around doing those kind of things, and you know, seeing how everything affects everybody's life in different matters. So, and the child advocacy center is who we're doing that for, and I want to thank that group. We give them a appropriation, and they're. Uh, part of our organizations too and they really thank you for all they do so so we'll be up there at 11 um want to thank uh and also i want to thing i want to kind of touch base on i missed it the first thing but uh you know like public comment we had a public comment sent in by mr ken fox he emailed it to us and um, cause <coughs> you can't come if you ever want to just make a public comment you're more than welcome to email us all a copy of it and we'll all look at it that way too so and as long as you get into the administrator's knowledge, it will be recorded in the meeting minutes that it was done. And um, his comment was was concerning the burying of animals, and he talked about the law and all this. But I don't thank Mr. Fox for sending us that. And he was unable to be here today because he does the radio show up at WKAC. So, so I was just wanted to say that for Mr. Fox. And um, with all that said, we will be adjourning until 9 a.m. on Monday, April the 18th. Oh, yeah, one more thing before I adjourn. The recycling center. That was something else I want to touch on because I know the lady up here was not here for the first part of the meeting. Um, KALB board, you know, was the runner of that organization, and we are working with them. Um, the KALB board lost the lease on their building, and it's not nobody's fault. It's just the way they didn't own the building. They're a nonprofit, just like the Child Advocacy Center and everybody else, and they depend on funding. And um, 
So their lease was, was up on the building, and their and part of their equipment belongs to us. Part of it belongs to ADM. Part of it's theirs. Um, some of it may be the city's. I don't know, but. What they're doing is they're disbanding this organization and whatever comes back to the county will become county property and then the county will see what we do in the future with recycling. The county commission has an allocation of about $125,000 a year to recycling. I think, I speak for the other commissioners, we're all committed to that. I mean, we've had that in the budget for the last several years. Um, we've actually upped it a few times. We had to up it again, but we'll, so the recycling in some form or fashion, we work closely with KALB, we're going to closely with the city. I think there'll be some form of recycling in Limestone County in the future. I don't know what it looks like. It may be better, it may be worse, you know, but I mean, I, I got a feeling that we're all going to be committed to working on it. I think every commissioner up here will be, so. I'm for the better. You're for the better? Not the worse. <laughs> you know, an old saying goes, you know, <laughs> well, uh, you know, the saying goes, the Bible says, so you have to go down to your knees to go up to heaven, so we got to go down to come up. So, I mean, it will all, it, it may be, you know, sometimes one thing going away is something better comes back in its place, so. Be opti I'm, I'm the guy that looks at the glass being half full instead of half empty. Been telling so, myself that all morning. So, <laughs> anyways, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic that we're going to we're going to get this situation straightened out. And I can't thank the KLB board enough for what they've done in the past. I mean, they've ran this thing with a shoestring purse, birds, and everything. And I mean, they like they worked hard with trash attack Saturday and all. They're still working hard with this county every day to keep the trash and litter up. And I know we had a gentleman in here um, talking about litter earlier. People, please put your litter in the garbage bag. I mean, put it in the trash. I mean, put the trash where it belongs. And then if it's in the recycling, put it in the recycling. If it's in the trash, put it in the trash. And we'll all go work through this thing. And I just want to thank everybody. Thank the KMB. Got anything, Dave? And I'm here representing KLB. And I want to also thank the county commission for all that they've done for us. They've supported us in numerous ways through the household hazardous waste collection, through recycling, through cleanup. They're always there to support us whenever we need to do our cleanups. They're there with the trailers, picking that up for us. And I really want to uh, thank the commission for doing that. Thank you, sir. And one thing else, you know, they we went back and I didn't know the story of how recycling even started in Limestone County until I got an email from, um, and you know, and Lee Patterson sent us an email and gave us the whole breakdown of it. And I wish Lee, you know, she's leaving the KALB, and I mean, she's been a, a rock star up there at KALB, and I, we're going to miss her. But, you know, I understand, you know, she's got a better option in life, better opportunity. So, you know, that, but that read that story, you know, how one person started this whole recycling program, a teacher at Athens High School. You know, it was a good story, started it. A year or two later, it got too big. They moved into the old city building over here behind the cemetery, and it just kept growing to what it went into. So, if one person fourth grade Sparky came to speak to us, that yeah. was the mascot. The mascot was Sparky, yep. and it was. I remember that the Christmas parade. They'd walk down through there and wave. It was Sparky. It was a big Sparky. And it wasn't. You know, it wasn't KLB then. It was Ath It was some other name. <laughs> and um, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, one person started. Here's the story. I'm here's the takeaway from this is one person started this and made it what it is today. You know, if if, if ten people starts it now, it's going to be ten times better in a few years. So, I mean, you know, one person started it, I mean, it can start over. It's not, it's, I mean, this is a, this is a temporary thing. We were closed 10 months to COVID, so I'm sure that in the future we will get all that done. So we'll uh, recess until, um, adjourn until 9 a.m. on Monday, April 18th, 2022, right here at Clinton Street Courthouse Annex, and thank everybody for being here today.